Um, Nat, welcome to Aston Villa. Um, how happy are you to, to assign here? Um, yeah, really happy. Um, Gemma is a coach that I've kind of admired for, for a while now and I think what the team did here last season, towards the end of the season, um, I've kind of come in and it's really obvious to see why they achieved that. Um, the environment here is fantastic and you know everybody wants to work hard for each other and, and for the coaching staff and I'm really, really excited to be a part of that. What were the kind of um, factors that appealed to you about joining Aston Villa? Um, like I said, I think last season, um, after the first couple of games, I think people might have written them off, but you know, um, Jem kept the squad together really well, uh, along with the rest of the staff, and the girls pulled through. And I think that takes time, and, and bringing a team together like that to, to create something big takes time. And like I said, I've, I've only been here a few weeks, and just being in and around it, you can see why they achieved what they did towards the end of the season. Um, and you know, I, I don't think any new players are coming in expecting to walk straight into the team because it's it's a really talented team. Um, but you know, I think Gem's built a really strong squad, um, and obviously we've got high aspirations for the season. And you've said there about Gem. Was she, um, you know, a big factor for you? Did she have to work hard to convince you to kind of join? Uh, no, I think it was more <laughs> the other way around. Um, you know, I haven't played for a little while. I stopped playing halfway through last season um, and fell out of love with the game a little bit. So actually, it was. It was more a case of me having a personal aim to kind of get fit and, and see if I could still play at this level, to be honest. And, um, you know, I'm really grateful for the opportunity that I've been given with, with such um, a big and, and kind of well-respected club. And like I said, I'm just looking forward to, to getting my hands dirty and, and working hard and, um, you know, trying to support the team and the girls however I can, really. So you're kind of, you'd say, you know, after falling out of love with the game, you're back, you're ready and you're really motivated to kind of hit the ground running. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I hope that's shown in kind of the way that I have got fit over, over the past few weeks. And, you know, I've still got a lot of work to do on the ball to get up to the standard of these guys, <laughs> but um, I'm more than prepared for the challenge. And like I said, just being in and around it, you know, I don't need any extra motivation. Like it's a great club and there's some great people here and I'm really excited to just learn and kind of progress and move forward as the club does. So. And how have the team kind of welcomed you into the, to the environment? and? How have you found that in your first couple of weeks? The girls have honestly been great. Like, um, I, I honestly couldn't have asked for any more. They've been so welcoming. They're a really, really good group. Um, plenty of laughs, um, kind of a tap on the shoulder when you need it if you've made a mistake in, in a session. Um, there's just a really good atmosphere around the place. Everybody's here for each other. And, you know, that, like I said, links across the staff as well. But yeah, I can't fault the girls at all. They've been really, really welcoming. And, and speaking to some of the other new players, I know they feel the same way. And, and I think that's massive. Um, just to have that camaraderie already before the season's even started um, will hopefully give us a really good platform to build upon. And what are your kind of uh, personal ambitions um, for this season with, with the team and on a personal level? Um, I think with the team it's obvious. Everybody here is vying for promotion and, and I think they've got the setup and the players and, and staff here to do that. Um, for me personally, I think just to try and break into the starting eleven. you know, I'm, I'm not under any kind of pretenses that I'm going to walk straight into the team and, and actually that's a challenge that really motivates me and it's going to be a difficult one because um, I know the team's very well established but you know they're a good group and, and hopefully we'll push each other and, and get the best out of, each, out of each other so yeah for me just trying to get into that starting 11 if I can and whether that takes you know a few games half a season um, like I said that's that's all the motivation I need really. And um, for for fans who haven't seen you play, what, what what's your kind of style like and what do you hope to bring to the team? <laughs> uh, I think if you ask Jem, in fact, um, Jem actually said to me the other week, I'm a, an old-fashioned centre-half, so <laughs> I guess a bit of a bruiser. Um, I know how to defend, I know how to put my body on the line. Um, I think I'm a good leader as well. I like to think I can help motivate people and, and hopefully gel the team a little bit together. Um, I'm loud, I like to communicate a lot. Um, occasionally pop up with a header from a corner, a little goal. Um, but yeah, like I said, just, just passion for the game and, and a willingness to kind of get better and develop and, and hopefully encourage others around me to do that as well. And you said um, your mum's a big Villa fan and she obviously doesn't know until she sees this come out. How do you think she's going to be feeling? Uh, yeah, I think, I think she'll be delighted. Um, to be honest, when I told my dad last year that I probably wasn't going to play ever again and I was hanging up my boots, um, I think he was a bit gutted, so I think both my parents will be equally as pleased. But yeah, I think Mum's always secretly wanted to see me in Claret and Blue, so hopefully I can do a good job for her and for the club as well. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you.